I was always interested in home automation. Interestingly enough, I already have a system in my home which is professionally installed with industrial PLCs. But this always kept me thinking what I can do with low-cost hardware and open source software. In this new playlist, I will be looking at OpenHab, which is an open source uh, automation system, and Node-RED, which is a visual flow editor. My plan with this playlist is to present some use cases both for OpenHab and Node-RED on how to implement certain scenarios and how to integrate certain hard hardware elements that I'm using for it. I think I will be using some theoretical scenarios because there is not an automation task which I need to implement right now. Both OpenHab and Node-RED already has many tutorial videos. If you are starting from the beginning, I recommend going through them. OpenHab is designed for home automation, which is integrated with many physical hardware ranging from smart mains outlets to Wi-Fi enabled lamps to TVs and air conditioning. In OpenHab you configure your hardware as inputs and outputs uh, and you configure your services and uh, you specify how they would appear and react on a, on a UI element like on a screen or a smartphone. Uh, which is again accessible from a browser or a mobile application. So this is all really, really nice, but once you need some actual logic, um, as opposed to just pushing a button on your phone, you need to start coding. Um, for example, if uh, you know a switch changes the state, so it goes from light to high to low, then I want to do something. So you uh, you need to do all this in coding. Node-RED is a, is a browser-based flow editor which is used to wire flows together to define how information is handled and transported and used. This is a generic tool uh, which can be used for many different integration tasks. One of the very useful add-ons of Node-RED is a dashboard module which allows a UI front-end to be added to your project. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3 running headless in my local network. I'm fairly new to Linux uh, but I have some programming experience from the past. If you are pretty much on the same level as me, you shouldn't have any issues following my videos. There are very good write-ups how to install these components. In my videos I will be using OpenHab, Node-RED and MQTT. To install OpenHab, you just go to openhab, openhab.org, you scroll down to the, uh, on the main page until you get to getting started. It will take you through the process from start to finish. At the time of this writing, OpenHab is at version 1.8.3. Node-RED is really similar. You just go to node-red.org, you click on documentation on the top, and then select installation from the left navigation screen. Again, it will take you through the uh, process from the beginning to end, how you download the, how you download and install the application and how you, you, you get it running. MQTT on Raspberry Pi is called Mosquito, and again, there are plenty of tutorials on the web how to set it up. Um, I just go on Google and I just pick the first on the list. Um, I set it up um, mine with basic security, which allows the clients to connect uh, only with the user ID and the password, but I haven't configured a secret connection yet. Once you have it all set up, we should be ready to start playing around. So let's see you in the next video.